Hey, uh, welcome to Worship Leader Stuff. My name is Matt. I just wanted to take you guys through a quick look at my uh, acoustic guitar rig when I'm leading from acoustic guitar. I'll do another video on electric guitar. I actually really like to lead from electric guitar, but today we're going to focus on acoustic guitar. And <clears throat> uh, so over there, you should be able to see my pedals. And uh, let's talk about those in a second. Let's talk about the guitar first. So, first thing is I'm using this. Taylor. It's a 310 CE. It's about, uh, I believe it was 2010. And uh, a couple of nice things is that it does have some EQ functionality and Fishman uh, pickups in, in uh, the prefix setting with uh, Taylor. Fishman makes amazing acoustic guitar set um, sets of pickups. So anything you see with Fishman, it's going to sound great. It's actually not my main guitar I'll probably use. I also use a Martin 00 AXE, but I wanted to use this one today because recently I've been finding that this cuts really well through the mix. Um, but hopefully with this pedal setup, which is the main thing I want to show you guys, you should be able to make this work with any guitar and it will sound great uh, with your band or if you're alone. In particular, you'll be able to go back and forth and do make uh, this guitar, or whatever guitar you're playing, work for you in various settings. So let me walk through the pedal board. Uh, it's gonna sound, show you some of the sounds and show you some of the things I'm doing. So the first uh, pedal you're gonna see is the JHS Clover. And this pedal is uh, pretty new. It's about a year or two old. It's got a couple different functionalities to it. You can see uh, there is a toggle switch right here and right here. You got your volume. And then you've got no EQ, which is going to function with only the volume knob, like a boost. You've got no mids, which will let you use the bass and treble, but not the mids, obviously. And then a full EQ. And so this works really with electric guitar, but I found it actually works really well with acoustic guitar. And I'm using it as my EQ functionality. And so here's what it sounds like without it. with some of the settings here so you can see if we back the bass and treble off a little bit and increase the mids that, that would sound really nice in a mix go if you're playing by yourself you might want a setting like that which is going to sound really great uh, if you're playing just you or in a smaller band. I really like this setting. Lots of bass, a little bit more treble, but then mostly mid. This guitar itself has a good amount of treble already. The other really nice thing about this runs on 9 volts. It also has an XLR out on the side. So it functions as a direct box. So one of the reasons I love using it for my acoustic guitar is that it can go right into the system. I don't have to use a direct box. I can bring this anywhere. It's a nice compact little board. Using the Pedal Train Junior, nothing crazy. You could use a piece of wood. Um, next pedal is the Boss RV6. This is a legendary reverb pedal. I really like using it on my acoustic guitar. I use it on both pedal boards. I have it on my electric. I also have it on my acoustic. I love this rear pedal. If you were to say, Matt, you only have one pedal you can use for the rest of your life, I'd pick the Boss RV6. In particular, I love the modulate effect. That's what most people really love it for. And so when you have your, um, your toggle knob turned all the way to modulate, I like to set the time at not too long tone up a little bit and the level not too big and again here is with we'll turn this on here is with no no reverb and here's with the reverb it sounds amazing and if you wanted to really hear what that sounds like turn up the level with the tone and the decay. 
okay now and really get some ambient tones going. That's what it sounds like. It sounds amazing. And I'm going through a Focusrite uh, Scarlett audio interface right into my computer, but that is what it sounds like in the house as well. And listening to what you guys are hearing here. So I back the time off in a real setting, though probably a little bit, a little bit less level. You want it to be somewhat subtle, especially when you're playing with a full band. But if you're going to be playing with a smaller church, this is a great thing that you can have. And lastly, I have a delay. <clears throat> this is the Boss TV7 Digital Delay. Again, great pedal. I have this set to a sort of like a dotted eighth quicker delay setting, and I'm just going to adjust the time. One thing you could add to this pedal board potentially is a tap tempo. Now, the DD7 does have that functionality, but you have to press and hold and can't turn it on and off as easily. But I have it set to kind of make this type of a sound. basically stole this from Phil Wickham back in the day. I think now he uses the DD200, but he used to use DD7 or a DD6, and it would uh, essentially give him that dotted eighth effect that allows him, when he's playing by himself, to sound a little more rhythmic. So every once in a while, when we're doing an acoustic set, uh, I love turning this on for something, especially with a little more upbeat to it, like a This Is Amazing Grace, or um, whatever that song might be, just giving that effect, you know. If That's perfect time to transition since that sounds out of tune to our tuner. This is the Korg Pitch Black and it does its job. That is my acoustic rig. I love this rig. I've been using it for about a year now and I wouldn't change a thing. It's all you really need. You don't need to do too much on acoustic. Maybe a chorus pedal if you wanted to sound funky. But again, when you're with a band, you don't hear too much of the nuances anyway. So all you're really gonna want is something with a good EQ. I love this one because it's got the XLR out and it works great. JHS makes great stuff and some reverb or delay. And that's all you need. All right. Hope this is helpful, guys. Hope you're glorifying God in all that you do, including pursuing excellence and a great sound for his sake, and not just for the people's sake that you're serving.